thumb alone taping technique, we're going to start um, shave and spray so that we get good adhesion. For our thumb alone, uh, with, as we put down the pre-wrap, it's okay if the pre-wrap exceeds the boundaries of where the tape is going to go. We can rip off the excessive pre-wrap later. So you're going to start this one, this thumb version, almost the same as our figure eight that we do to end a wrist hyperextension technique. So we do figure eight pattern, and this is actually our anchor. So we start with that anchor, and then the first thing we're going to do so this joint right here is what we're aiming to cover. So we're going to have one inch tape. We're going to switch from one and a half inch to one inch tape. We're going to lip over anything in the web where their thumb is relaxed, not held out. Um, their thumb is relaxed and we want to X over that proximal joint of their thumb and their metacarpal phalangeal joint. And then we have tails of the X are going to come down and Pull the thumb in to the to the rest of the fingers. So what we don't want to do is put pressure on this part, the out part. What we're trying to prevent is prevent thumb hyperextension. So it's just loosely laid on there, and then these tails are pulled with pressure pressure to keep that thumb and that joint from hyperextending. So these we have three spikas here spikas. After our spikas, we're going to perform navicular blocks. So our navicular blocks can be done with the one inch shape as well. You can do one and a half inch. So our navicular blocks, your navicular bone is right here at the base of your thumb. So you're going to start and it's going to look like a C. And you, These are pulled with full tension. You match as hard as you can. They're going from anchor to anchor in a C strip pattern. We're going to half lap. And you're working your way up the thumb until you have crossed the joint where your spikas are. So right there, we could stop right there, we could do one more. So I'm going to do one more. So these blocks are especially what keeps it from being able to hyperextend. So they are one of the most important functional parts. So now we have lots of loose ends, so we're going to cover those up. We're going to do the same thing we did to start this taping technique with an anchor. So one figure eight pattern anchor should be good enough to cover up all of our loose ends. And the tail should end in the back. So this is a thumb alone technique that's often used in basketball because it does not interfere with the wrist. So she has full wrist motion there. Um, it only is restricting thumb, so you have her extend each thumb as far as you can. You can see this one is restricted from full extension.